Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we're going to continue with our uh, exploration of Yang Cheng Fu's 13 original postures. Uh, but first, I'd like to go over something, continue the idea that uh, we began last week, which was talking about the Yao. And so to, to explain what that means, that we're talking about this part of your your spine down here where the sacrum and the coccyx. So the coccyx is down your tailbone down there and your sacrum is that triangular piece there that uh, at the base of your spine. And uh, so initiating movements from there. So whatever we're, we're going from a, from stillness and we're going into, into, uh, you know, some sort of movement. We want to like have the power come from there. So so you can think of it as the yang aspect, that is the, the driving force of the movement, you know, and we have the qua, which is the hip joint, which is the, the yin part. That's the part that, that controls the movement by, by yielding to uh, and controlling the direction of, of the movements. So if we, we're talking about the qua, we're talking about the hip joints here, but particularly focusing on the inguinal crease. That is where the legs meet the torso. Right here, you got this, the inguinal crease. So the qua is, we make our movements by, by releasing this, any muscular tension that may be in the hip joint and the muscles surrounding the hip joint so that we are creating space to move into. If the muscles remain fixed or tense, so you go to turn and like there's 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 no room for it to go to. There's no no place for that for the the turn to go into. So consequently, what happens is you turn by by just sliding your your butt one way or the other horizontally. And what we're thinking more about is engaging the the turn as a spiraling action. That is, you're kind of screwing down into the earth by releasing here. And what drives that is the yao. So, so what's happening here is, is I, as I turn, there's a, a releasing down and, but it's, it's simultaneously, there is a directing that's coming from that lower base, uh, the base of the spine there. So whenever we bring our attention to that part of the body, down into the area below the, the belt, then we awaken energies that have become dormant. There's a, a bit of stagnation that occurs whenever your muscles are locked up. There's a stagnation that occurs between your legs and your torso. So the, the north-south movement of chi is inhibited by muscular tension. So whenever we uh, open this this gate here at the at the qua, then things start to move and they start to move very nicely. Also, this is where the power that comes, the effortless power that comes from Taiji Tran is is initiated in the uh, in the movements. So we we uh, are using the yao to to turn the body and it creates that space in the in the qua to allow for that to occur. So the uh, everything that we're doing in, in Tai Chi Chuan is is coming from a solid foundation. That is our ability to root is is really essential to to our to our movements. And rooting is not just bracing yourself and and locking yourself into position. Rooting is the ability to energetically connect with the, the field, the Earth's energy field, so that it is actually becoming part of you. And, you know, I, we, we call that, you know, um, accessing the big chi. So that is you're, you're not limited to the energy that's just that's in, stored inside your body. It's actually 
you're connected up and you become part of a system which includes the earth, the uh, the body, and but also the heavens. So as you reach up with the crown of your head and you, you're extending upward with that, you're allowing the yang chi, the very um, uh, ephemeral chi, to come down, and this animates the system. So the yin chi stabilizes and and nurtures the yang chi, fills you up with this kind of creative force. So those those two those two uh, uh, points there they allow for this exchange with the bigger energy of the field of the earth and sky. And so by establishing a firmly rooted foundation, we can then relax the upper body and allow the chi to flow more, more freely throughout the, throughout the system. And we're not limited to just the chi that we've stored in our own body with, by the food we eat, you know, the air we breathe. We're actually talking about something much more, something greater. So we're, at this point, we're no longer a closed system. That is, you know, where the energy is, is, is just being circulated around this, 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 within my skin. And I become an open system where I'm plugging into an energy field, which is much greater. And that allows for really cool stuff to happen. So what we're going to do is I'd like to review some of this stuff, particularly for people who are just tuning in to the YouTube channel. And um, everybody here can use uh, use a, a review of of this because we're integrating the the um, uh, the yao with the qua with the knee and also with the, the foot. So the uh, uh, we uh, something that I've called ball ni qua, and then we add yao to that. So we have these these four elements which are sequential. So we're going to do a little exercise which allows us to really get get the hang of that because I believe that every movement in in a, a tai chi form is enhanced by uh, engaging the body mechanics that I'm talking about, which create the opportunity for the energy to flow much more freely. And it amplifies the field tremendously as well. And it allows you to circulate more chi in your body mind than you ever thought possible. So it's a gradual upgrading of your wiring so that you can handle more and more energy as you're as you're going forward. But the, uh, you know, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So you, you actually need to feel into this and, and, and do something with it in order to make it, uh, you know, for your body mind to, to take it on as a, you know, as, as something that it considers to be valid and worth changing habits of a lifetime in order to do it. So why don't we stand up and we'll kind of play around with this. I'd like you to take a comfortably wide step. So a little wider, maybe you can take it even, even into like a, a, a bow stance, or not a bow stance, a, a horse stance, a mapo. You know, you can take it that far. But if you're comfortable with just a little wider than, than hip width, that's fine too. The important thing here is your feet are pointing straight ahead, pointing forward. So your toes are pointing straight ahead, your big toes rather. And so the inside of your foot is there. So we're going to address the ball of the foot first. That is the, uh, the, along the big toe line here, the, uh, this, this part right here, that big nub there on the big toe line. So having that, finally that first. So we get that as our, our as our anchor. So we feel into that. We feel the ball, let's say we'll start with the ball of the right foot. You feel into that and you want to establish 
your you want to establish an awareness of that connection between the ball of your right foot and the floor. And then next thing you do is you want to set the knee. And what that means is the knee is put in into a position over the ball of the foot where you're not going to move it, at least until you've executed the turn. I, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be turning to the right, right? So to do that, what's going to happen is I'm going to set my knee. I'm going to feel the ball, ball of my foot, set my knee, and then spiral down to the left a little bit. So that means I'm going to release here at the claw and spiral it down to the to the left a little bit and just feel into into that. So let's go back and and well actually so that and then from there I turn I turn to the right. So notice that what I'm not doing is this. I'm not just going like this. I'm not just turning like that. I'm actually doing a sequence which in slow motion looks like this ball set the knee spiral down to the left and then turn. And what that does is it enables me to use all the power of my legs and my torso to make this turn. This and, and then I'm able to generate a tremendous amount of power in that turn. And it also encourages the, 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 the chi flow. So we wanna feel the ball of the foot, you set the knee. And so when I'm talking about setting the knee, notice that my knee is not going very far forward and nor am I going down very deep. I, I don't want my knees to go out over my toes at all. I want to have them almost vertical. So here I am. So they're almost, they're almost straight up. They're just a little bit ahead of, of vertical as I'm doing this. So I, I feel the ball of the right foot. I set that, set the, the, the right knee and then I spiral down to the left. So I'm loading up my, my right leg by turning to the left, by rotating my body and then sinking into the sinking into the right leg. And from here I turn without moving my knee. My knee stays. So then I turn from, from my torso. And it's driven by my yao. So if you put your hand back on your sacrum there and you feel the ball, you set the knee, and spiral down to the left. And then turn, use your yao to, to direct that turn. That is, you're turning from the lower, the lower spine. So what you've done is you've created this, this torso moving as a unit. I'll do it facing you, so it's like, this ball, set the knee, spiral down to the left, and then turn. Notice that my shoulders and my hips are lined up. They're, they're moving together at the same time. So this whole torso is moving as a unit, and the pivot point becomes my qual. The power is generated from the yao. The support comes from the leg, and the root is engaged through the foot. So. So we, uh, in slow motion, we're going to feel the ball of the right foot. You actually put your hand on your, on your yao. You feel the ball of the right foot. You set the right knee. And you then spiral down to the left. So you're loading up that right leg. So notice that as you do that, your left leg kind of empties out. You don't have to do anything to empty it out other than just take the load into your right, your right leg. You, as you sink into that right claw, you'll see it here again. As I sink, I, my, my knee is not, I'm not pushing my knee forward as I, as I spiral down. What's happening, the knee is staying set and all the action is happening here from at, at the claw. It's being directed by the yao, but it's 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 the pivot point here is at my at my claw. So that that establishes my my root and my foundation in that right leg. So I'm really learning to trust that the, the right leg can handle 
being the sole or main support of my body. And so from here, I'm going to use my Yao to turn my body to the right. Okay, how far do you turn it? Only as far as your Qua will let you. So there's no advantage to, say, turning and twisting your body like that. We don't want that. We want the whole body turns as a unit, and it only goes as far as you can release the Qua. So then you go to the other side, you feel the ball of the left foot, and you set the left knee. So we're, the weight's in your right leg, but now you're going to set the left knee, and you're going to begin the process of turning, sinking into the left leg and turning to the left. But first, we do that by releasing the left claw and spiraling down to the right. So we're loading up that left leg by turning to by spiraling down to the right. We're loading that leg and the, uh, we're doing this. We're sinking down as we turn. And then we use the Yao to turn the body and you still keeping the knee set. Notice the knee hasn't moved. It's still going straight ahead. And then we, we can go from there. We go into the right foot. We feel the right ball. We set the right knee. So notice my right knee here is relaxed, so it's not, I don't, I don't, uh, it has no, no load on it, so I'm not concerned about it. But if I'm going to set it, I'm going to take it over so that it's over my right foot. And so then I load up that, set the knee and release down and spiral down to the, to the left and then turn to the right. Using the Yao to, to make that turn. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. So that um, you're releasing down into the left quad and then you turn. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral down to the left and then turn. The knee doesn't move. All that's happening is using the, the base is stable, and what turns is the is the torso. Left claw, left ball, set the left knee and spiral down to the right. Turn to the left. Use your yaw to turn. So now take your arms, and you're going to feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee and spiral down to the left and just feel into that. Notice what happens whenever you reach out with your arms like this, you're relaxing your shoulders, reaching out with your arms and feel that connection all the way down through your foot, from your fingers all the way down through your foot, from the top of your head through your foot and just feel that, that connection and the stability of that posture. And so now you're gonna turn Use your yaw to turn and reach. And now feel the ball here, the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee and spiral down to the right. So you're loading that up. And use your yaw and turn. Okay, bring your hands down. So now we're going to add one more thing to this, something I've been emphasizing lately, and that is we're going to begin this conversation between yin and yang by instead of going to the ball of the foot, immediately sink into the heel of the right foot, set the right knee. So what this does is this allows for a yin connection, an that negative energy goes down and, and the energy of the earth comes up as you do that. So the yin, uh, the yin connection is happening here and you're spiraling down to the left. And now turn and as you turn, you go into the ball of your foot and turn. So now we're having the yang, the active element. The, now go to the heel of your left foot, spiral down to the right. Or actually, 
heel of the left foot, set the left knee, and then spiral down to the right. You're releasing the left claw and turn using feeling the ball of the left foot as you turn. The heel of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left. Follow the left foot, follow the right foot, and then turn. Heel of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Load up that left leg, and now you the ball of the left foot and turn. Use your yell. And then come back to center. So this is a really simple way of just going through that, that, those basic ideas. And it's something you, you want to practice till it becomes second nature. Because what, we're at, what I'm asking you to do is something which is counterintuitive. That is, I want to turn to the left. I'm going to first turn to the right, spiral down to the right, and then turn to the left. And... This is something that's written over and over again in the Peggy Chuan classics, but it's something that um, is not explained very thoroughly. So this is a way of, of using that information uh, to create a, a, a tremendous amount of internal power. And it works like a bellows. You're, you're using yin to yang and using your body's mechanics to to generate chi, generate flow throughout the whole system. And in so doing, you're also establishing a very firm foundation, very rooted foundation, and it allows the upper body to, uh, to let go of extraneous muscular tension, which creeps in if you are uncertain about your stability, about your, you know, about your, uh, your foundation. You know, if you're afraid of falling down, that there's always this, this tendency to hang on with your back, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, etc. This way, this way you can say, oh, I can start letting go a piece of the time because I trust my foundation. Okay, so let's go on to uh, uh, the Yong Cheng Fu's 13 original postures. And for those just tuning in, this is the form we've been doing the last few weeks that uh, uh, very powerful. It's a very short form. And we go through it in copious detail so that you really get a chance to feel what's going on inside. So I'm less concerned during this, this time, our time together here, to uh, the choreo getting the choreography exactly right, although that's also important. I'm more concerned about you having the, the, the feeling of executing these things, just following along what I'm talking about and executing these things. And the exercise we just did will have a part to play in how we move through these, these, uh, through these movements. So we're gonna begin by, uh, I'm gonna turn my back to you and talk you through it and just follow along and as best you can for those who uh, are just tuning in and for those who've been around a while, just you know, try to take it to another level, try to take it even deeper. Uh, so here we go. So let's begin by uh, establishing our, what I call my three pillars. So you wanna feel the, the balls of, the, of both feet. Knees are unlocked. I'm going to have your weight centered over the balls of the feet. Reach with the crown of the head, tucking your chin. So you're opening the jade pillow gate here, right at the base of your skull. This allows the chi to flow more freely through your neck and into your brain. Relax your lower back and, and feel your yao. Feel that, feel your Feel your sacrum, feel your coccyx, and you want to free up your claw so that you can have that sense that you're releasing at the, uh, the muscular tension there in your legs and your hips, 
so that uh, your, your hip joints can flow freely. Point and reach with your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence that comes with that. Reach with your elbows and open the shoulder joints so that you're unlocking the shoulder tensions there. All right, so let's begin the, uh, the form and feel the, the heel of the right foot and spiral, heel of the right foot, set the knee and then spiral down to the left. You're loading up that right, right leg as you do that and then turn to the right and go to the ball of your foot as you turn. And then you have fit up all your weight in your right leg now. Pick up your left heel and step out a little bit to the to the side. Make it an empty step so you're not transferring your weight into it yet. You're just locating the leg. Feel the heel of the left foot and then set the left knee and spiral down to the right. You're releasing the left claw spiraling down to the right. We're going to be turning to the turning back to center, turning left to go back to center. We want to first turn right. And then turn, use your yow to turn your body. Pivot on your right heel. Now, feel the balls of both feet. Set your knees and bow forward from the yow slightly. And then come up and reach with your wrists. Relax your elbows and reaching with the wrists. The fingers and reach out, opening, opening your back between the shoulder blades. So you're feeling that extension all the way out to your fingertips. So there's a connection between your, your arms and your hands through your back. So your, your, your scapula are, are separating out and, and your shoulders are opening elbows and wrists, etc. And you sink into your heels and reach down with your elbows, bend from the wrists, fingers come down, and then go back to the balls of your feet and reach down with your fingers and feel the chi in your hands. Feel that energy cascading down your arms into your hands. Now feel the heel of your left foot spiral down to the right and load up your left leg. So you're, and then turn to the right and go to the ball of your left foot as you do that and reach with your right hand. Feel that, reach down with your left hand. Now feel the heel of your right foot spiral down to the left. So you're setting the knee, you're spiraling down to the left and then turning to the right. And go to the ball of your right foot. Use your yow to turn your body. And reach, opening. Open your joints. Reach with your fingers. Open up your, your back. Now feel the heel, the heel of your left foot. Spiral down to the right. And turn. Use your yow. Ball of your left foot and reach to the left with both hands. Now feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, and then turn to the right. Move from your yao, use that uh, to turn your body and then reach open. Now feel the heel of your right foot and spiral down to the right. You're setting the right knee, you're spiraling down to the right. And pick up your left heel and step out a bit. Now feel the heel of your left foot, set your left knee and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up that left leg and turning. Turning. Use your yow. Arms are very soft and reach 
open the joints, step in with your left, your right foot, and feel that connection. Your weight is still in your left leg. Now you feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee spiral down to the left. You're loading up the right leg and then turn. And as you turn, use your yao. And when you come to the center, your, your hand forms a bird beak like this. Your elbow is down and your wrist is, is bent. Your left hand is under your navel. And you spiral down to the right. Now feel the ball of your right foot and set the right knee and use your yaw to turn and reach out with your right arm. Now feel the heel of the right foot, spiral down to the right and load up your right leg, pick up your left heel and step out with your left foot. Now push your left knee out, set that, and spiral down to the right in your, in your left leg. So you're loading up your left leg and the left hand comes up with the palm facing you. Right hand still has the bird's beak out here. And you're opening your arms and shoulders. And then turn. Rotate your forearm so the fingers are pointing straight forward. Your right hand goes out to the uh, out to the side the right wrist is up about ear height so feel the left heel spiral down to the right and then use your yao turn to the left as you step in reach up with your right hand right wrist is extending upward left hand is reaching down now feel the right heel and spiral down to the left. You're loading up the, the right claw as your ha right hand comes down and your left hand comes up. And then your right hand comes to a fist underneath your, under your navel, out about well, a few inches out from the, from the navel, about six inches or so. And then you turn back to center, reach out with your left hand and go on the heel of your left foot. Just pause a moment, just feel into that. Reaching with the crown of your head, tucking in your chin. There's a lot that I'm, I'm talking about here. And don't worry if you don't get all of it at once. It's something you, it's just stuff to think about as you're doing a form. And different components that help make it a little bit better. So now feel the, the heel of the right foot spiral down to the right. So you're loading up that. You're setting the right knee, you're spiraling down to the right. So you're loading up that right leg so you can step out just a little bit with the left foot. Now you feel the left heel, set the left knee and spiral down to the right. You're loading that up and then feel the ball of your left foot and turn. And when you do that, you're reaching out with your right hand Palm up, left hand is still palm down. So you're shooting that hand under the, under the right, the left, the right hand is coming out under the left hand and reaching out as you do that with your weight primarily in the, in the left leg at this point. And now feel the heel of your right foot, set the right knee in a spiral down to the left. We're gonna be turning to the right so we wanna first spiral down to the left. What we're gonna do now is turn. As we turn, the right hand reaches out and your left hand follows as you come out and reach up with your right hand. You're opening and step in with your left foot onto the toe and turn back to center. Left hand crosses your body over to the side here, just in front of your thigh and right hand is reaching up and out. So you're, you have this kind of posture. This is a white crane spreads wings. So your hand is reaching up and out. You're opening your joints and you just feel that openness that you're this big bird and you're opening and, uh, and feeling the, the, the power within the freedom that comes with that. 
Well, here we are. White crane spreads wings, and now we're going to feel the right heel spiral down to the left. The right heel set the right knee spiral down to the left. The right hand circles down, it presses down. Now you feel the ball of the right foot as you turn to the right, reaching out with your left hand. Right hand circles up. So you all this has been done with the uh, weight in the right leg. Now feel the right heel, set the right knee and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up that right leg even more because you want to step out with the left foot. You set the left, you set, feel the left heel, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. So you're loading up that left leg and then turning and reaching forward with the right hand. Your back leg straightens out a bit and your body is inclined slightly forward. You're reaching out with that right hand. You know, the heel of the left foot spiral down to the left and then reach out with your left hand, thumb down. So both hands are, are as if they're pushing to the to the left side. Then go into your right heel and turn to the right and rotate your palms so they're both pushing to the left side. And then step back with your left foot and go on the heel of the left foot and reach out. Your play guitar. So you're reaching out with your hands like this. Notice that the arms are parallel. The left arm is reaching out a little bit further because my body is is turned uh, on a 45. So the right hand kind of lines up with the with the left elbow. So right heel, set the right knee and you're spiraling down to the right. And then turn to the left. And as you as you do that, the left hand draws back. You reach back with your heel, with your uh, left foot, you reach back with your elbow and reach forward with your right hand. So the right hand is palm down, left hand palm up. So you're loading up that right leg, spiraling down to the left. And now you want to step forward with the left foot, set the left heel, and then feel uh, and spiral down, set the left heel, the, the left knee, spiral down to the left. You're loading up that left leg, but now you want to turn. You're going to use your yaw to turn and reach out with your fingers, palm up. Right hand comes down, presses down. Now pivot on your right heel so that the toes are pointing straight, straight forward. And then you feel the heel of the right foot. You set the right knee and spiral down to the left. So you're loading up the right leg. And now we turn, pivoting on the left heel. And the left hand comes up overhead. Right hand presses down and sink. So you're loading up. You're going into a horse riding stance. A mop bow. Reaching up with the left hand. Thinking reaching down with the right. And then you feel the right heel. Spiral, set the right knee, spiral down, the, set the left heel, I'm sorry. Set the left heel, set the left knee, spiral down to the left and turn. The right hand comes up and turns into a fist. Step in with your right foot and turn. Reach with your right elbow and then step out. Heel first, set the heel. Set the knee and then turn and strike with back fist. So your right hand, your right arm is parallel with the ground, palm up into a, a very soft fist, three fingers on the forearm. And then you feel the left heel spiral down to the right and you turn right fist, comes back, pull back with the right elbow. The elbow you don't want the elbow to come back too far or the fist to come out too far. So it's, you're, you're coming back like this. You're reaching back. So the elbow only comes back about the, the size of your body. And then 
your fist is just kind of just follows that along. So notice that it's just following the turn of my body as I do that. Left hand reaches forward and I sink into the right, right ball or right heel, set the right knee and then go into the ball as I turn and reach with the fist, the three fingers on the, on the hand. So that's, that's uh, as far as we got last week. So that, uh, um, uh, and I want to repeat the, uh, the last couple moves just to, just to kind of reinforce those. So uh, and then we can go, we can go forward because the, the next move kind of follows along a similar pattern. So uh, uh, I'm going to turn around for this one. And so uh, we're going from, uh, actually, let's, let's take it from the, the, the brush knee. Okay, so we're, we're here, we, the left heel, set the left knee and spiral down and reach forward with the left hand. And then right heel, set the right knee and spiral down to the right and turn and notice that both palms are facing to the right. And I step back onto the heel of my left foot and play guitar. And I feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right, and then turn to the left. And as I turn to the left, the left hand comes back, reach forward with your right. Left foot comes back. So all your weight is in your right leg still. Then step forward with your left foot. Feel the left heel, set the left knee, spiral down to the left. You're loading up the left claw. And now you use your yaw to turn the body and reach forward with your left hand. Palm up. Okay. So now feel the heel. Uh, you want to pivot on the on the heel of your right foot. Set your right knee. And you're spiraling down to the left. So you're loading up the right leg. Get that knee set. So now you're going to turn and pivot on your left heel. Reach up with your left hand. Down with the right and sink. And then feel the left heel, spiral down to the left and right hand comes up, step in with the right foot. So you're loading up that left claw. Right hand is going to, your whole body is going to turn. You're leading with the right elbow and step out with the right foot. So now you feel the left he, right heel, set the right knee and then Spiral down to the left and then turn and strike with the back fist. Feel the left heel, spiral down to the spiral down to the right. And as you do that, you're turning your body, reaching out, you're circling around with the left hand and circling around with your right hand also, with your, your right fist. And you Feel the right heel, set the right knee, spiral down to the right, and then turn to the left, with the ball of your foot, and reach with your, your fist. So going forward from there, the next move is you pivot on the left heel, and you set the left knee. And we're going to load up that left leg a bit, and then we're going to turn. The left hand's going to come down. And the right hand is still keeps out there. So you're, you're, you're into your left leg, the left hand palm up under your, under your navel and reaching out and just feel into that. And now continue. So these are all continuous movements, but I'm, I'm stop motion here so you can see what's going on. And I step in and the right hand comes down and comes up inside the, the left arm, and then turn, reach, and very similar to the, the last back fist, we turn and strike with back fist, and just like the last one. 
Okay, so now we're going to step up. So we're going to step into, uh, sink into the left heel, spiral down to the right, left hand circles up and around, and your right fist circles around to the side. As you do this, you're sinking into the left leg and pivot on the right heel. So you're gonna, we're gonna be taking a step forward. So we're gonna turn that right foot out on a 45. So that really get comfortable in that left leg as your primary source of, of support. Because now that's, we're gonna let that go and we're gonna feel the heel of the right foot, push the right knee out, set that and spiral down to the right as we do that. And um, we step up with the left foot and then we feel the left heel spiral down to the right and then the left ball and turn and punch. So Okay, so going from, from, from here, actually we'll go take it from here. So we left heel, set the left knee, spiral down to the left, turn and reach up outside the arm, step back, turn, reach with the right elbow, step with the, Feel the heel of the right foot, push your right knee forward, spiral down to the left, and then turn to the right, and as you do that, you strike with back fist. Three fingers on the, on the forearm. Now feel the right heel, or left heel, set the left knee and spiral down to the right. The left hand circles up, and the right hand comes around to the side. Circles around to the side. So your weight's in your left leg now. Now feel the right heel, Push your right knee forward, spiral down, and use the feel the ball of your right foot and use your yao to reach out with your right fist. Feel that three fingers on the forearm. Now feel your left heel, pivot on your left heel, and set your left knee, and you're gonna load that left leg up and left hand comes down, reaching out with the right hand, and then turn, Left hand comes up, right hand comes down as you step in. Right hand turns back into a fist, comes up in the arm, reaches out. Step out with your, your right foot, right heel, set the right knee. Use your yao, spiral down to the left and then turn to the right and strike with back fist a second time. Now feel the left heel. Set the left knee, spiral down to the right, pivot on your right heel. Your left hand circles up, your right hand comes around to the side. Feel the right heel, set the right knee, and spiral down to the right. Step in with your left foot, and step forward. Now feel your left heel, set the left knee, and spiral down to the right, and then turn and punch, and bring Three fingers on the forearm. Okay. Yes. Can you go through it without all the talking just to see the flow? Sure. Um, sure. So we're going to do it. I'll do it with my back to you. We're going to go and just follow along as best you can. And we're going to do it without all the talking. So um, I know it's a lot. And don't worry about memorizing it. That's the beauty of having this on a video. So you can... Go over and over again until you and practice each segment until you get it the way you want it. But um, right now we're going to do it just for flow, just so you can see what you know what it feels like to do it in a continuous motion. All right, so here we go. And begin.
Great. Please have a seat. So you can see from that, it's a, a versatile form and you can do it, you know, fairly quickly and very flowingly, or you can slow it way down and do it as a, as a very intense moving meditation. Um, you can break it down into its little pieces like I have been doing ad nauseum here today and to, uh, to get really get down to the exactly what's going on inside. And uh, please bear with me because uh, this is, I'm trying to show you what's going on inside and be able to describe it as best I can so that if you take your time and, and do, uh, you know, practice it and, and go over the tape a few times, so you'll, uh, you'll, get, uh, you'll get the idea of, of how to generate a ton of uh, internal energy from that. So uh, any thoughts, comments, complaints, suggestions? Scott. So we got all the way to before we did the whole forum, and I realized that I hadn't thought about my yao at all. So I tried to focus on my yao while we were doing the forum, and I dropped it again. I just keep, I keep dropping the yao. It's, I know. Don't, don't <laughs> even worry about it, because it's, uh, it's, that's why we slow it down and, and examine it in minute detail, so you can see. Oh, this is this is what I'm doing. Because whenever you're in the flow of it, you're not thinking. I'm not thinking about yeah. Whenever I'm doing it, you know, like as I just did it there, it's, it's only whenever I slow it down and say, "This is what I'm doing, folks." You know, so I'm sharing with you how how it makes it work. Because you can look at you know two people doing the same form and saying, "Wow." That one is something. That one not so much, and uh, and but they can, on the surface, look quite similar. So what's happening inside is is the key. So don't worry about it if you're not thinking about your yao. It's just you know I, that's why I mention it every now and then. It's uh, it's it's a whole lot of words, and Maria's getting like oh my god. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, so hopefully that's helpful. Yeah, no, we like, we like, it? yeah, you have to, uh, you have to override Maria on that one. We like the words. You like the words. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I like a mix. You like a mix. <laughs> me, me, me too. Yeah. I like Tell it me. every yow, every, every yow and then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, Michael just... you're, you're on, so you're, you're on mute, Michael. Okay, sorry. No, it's curious with the punch. Is the thumb inside the fist, or is it no. just a? It's it's like this. It's okay, wrapped, wrapped around the outside, but the fist is a hollow fist. Okay, it's like you got you, know, you. You stick your finger in your you stick your finger in, in your in your hand like that. Wrap your finger wrap your fingers around it. Pull your finger out, and and what you got left is is a taiji fist. Gotcha. Okay, very good. It's something. It's something. It's like, how is that powerful? And my, uh, you know, my teacher, Master uh, William C. C. Chen, he would, uh, he would put a raw egg in his fist, and then he punched through a couple of boards with without damaging the raw egg, and to just to demonstrate that you know the 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 power that comes from from that soft fist. So it's a, uh, it's it's an acquired taste, but uh, it it it's got it's got potential. Okay. Thanks for that. You bet. Mm. So we, we we like the words. Maria likes a mix. Valerie, I like the words. You like I the words. I like being able to run through it sans words, you know. I I'm so I'm in Marie's camp as far as that goes. Um and uh tonight, I don't know why tonight was particularly good. Um, but it was. 
uh, getting more and more that feeling of when it's appropriate to be in the heel, then when it's more appropriate to be in the ball of the foot, you know, the yin and the yang of that. Um, and like last week, Lynn mentioned the jutting, jutting butt, you know, the hip sliding out. And when we go so slow, it's, you know, I, you know, I'm old. I've been doing that since I first started Tai Chi. I'm sure of it. So it's, but when we go that slow, not only am I paying attention to the heel, to the ball, to, you know, the weight and setting the knee and all of that, but I'm able to then correct my hip, you know, like right in the moment because we're going so slow. And that's really wonderful because that helps me then when you speed it up. Um, maybe not quite as fast as what you were going through it tonight <laughs> without the words, but um, it, it, I'm enjoying this very much because right. I've seen all kinds of parts. Good, good. Any, uh, any uh, advice for people watching on YouTube? From uh, from what you're, uh, you know, what you're experiencing, your from your vast experience, is uh, that a different time at the YouTube? Uh... You you are part of the YouTube thing right now, so okay. it, it, it'll it's on my it's on my channel, so you get to see if you go go back, you get to see all of the uh, uh, all the hundreds of videos that I've uh, that I've put out on this, and, and going back just like say a. Uh, a month or so, we're we're just doing this form, so it's a it, you can uh, you can go from the beginning on that one, and and kind of do a uh, uh, review there. Yeah, Valerie. Um, Michael, you won't see this posted on <clears throat> YouTube for a day or two, so it's not live. You know, it's being recorded. They edit it a little bit, so you'll see it in a couple of days on YouTube. That, that's true. Oh. Yes, it's not and live. If I search. If I search your name, I'm going to find it, the Ray? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. If you go to rickbarrett.net. Okay. And you'll, that, that's the YouTube channel, so rickbarrett.net. Rickbarrett.net is your website channel. Is your website. Yes. Yeah. On, the website, On YouTube. You have your videos with a link to the YouTube channel. But also, if you go to rickbarrett.net, YouTube, you'll, that, that's the name of the YouTube channel. Or just just search search Rick Barrett Tai Chi. He's doing yeah, yeah. Rick Barrett Tai Chi. Also, I'm doing a uh, I'm doing a talk. I got an interview uh, uh, on uh, a holistic uh, network, holistic edge network uh, radio. Uh, it's on. It's also going to be broadcast on Thursday. Uh, Maria's going to post the uh, the link for it. There we are. Holisticedgeradio.com, and uh, and uh, I will. Uh, it's a it's a it's a pretty good uh, pretty good interview if I if I must say so myself the uh, uh, great interviewer and she did her homework. Uh, uh, I know uh, Araceli Brown is uh, is her name. Great interviewer. She went back watched a whole bunch of videos. She read she read uh, read a bunch of the uh, the blogs and stuff like that. So she had some great questions and uh, it's worth checking out. Uh, it. Uh, it's going live at 12 o'clock Eastern on Thursday, but it'll be posted on the uh, on her uh, on, on the on the website there going forward, so you can you can check it out anytime after after Thursday at 12. Yeah, Scott. Um, one thing to help other people, I noticed that I was doing that I've been doing is um, sinking you know sinking into my legs too much. Which then pushes my knee out yes. over the yeah over the ball, that's, that's, and it's just a habit, habit, right? It's a habit I picked up somewhere along the line of of sinking and right. yeah. yeah, and I, I was really conscious of it tonight, and it was really much better on my knees tonight. So, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, if you're feeling any any strain on knees or hips while doing uh, doing this form, you're doing it wrong. So uh, just slow it down, go back and. And and really check out exactly how everything is uh, is uh, is described there because uh, whenever you do it as stated, it there's no load on the knees, no load on the on the hips, and it just uh, 
they've become just like channels for the chi rather than load bearing uh, uh, areas. Okay, uh, I'm getting the signal that we are past our time. So uh, thank you all so much. Love you. And uh, thank you, Maria. Love you thank you, Maria. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Michael. Yeah. Thank you. Great to see you, Michael.